Hi, I'm Lex, and this is Riot. We're grown adults. When inquiring about hikes to explore for days off, a local recommended Bagby Hot Springs, but warned the hot springs themselves were off limits as several of the structures are condemned and the remaining unmaintained due to COVID. The Forest Service has a use at your own risk policy in regards to the area, including the hiking trails. Naturally, that sounded like a perfect fit. Bagby Hot Springs are natural springs located at the end of a mile and a half trail of towering firs adjacent to a secluded tributary of the Calacamas River. The Forest Service describes the area as a high use area and acknowledges that the site can be abused due to its remoteness and lack of constant oversight. Irony. One of my favorite things is when graffiti is misspelled. The springs were discovered in 1880 by an early hunter and prospector named Bob Bagby. While there are differing accounts of his discovery of the springs, Bagby and the Upper Clackamas area are historically linked. In 1913, Phil Putz, a Forest Service guard, built a cabin that is still present today. I think it's the one we are looking at here. Or it could be this one, as in 1974, the Forest Service built a new cabin for the guard, so it's one or the other.
Oi, come here. That's probably borax. The Friends of Bagby Organization built the current bathing facilities at the hot springs over several years of volunteering. This is the upper bathhouse and contains one six foot round tub on an open deck. Oh, that is really warm. This is the main bathhouse, which is now condemned and contains five tubs and private stalls. The bathhouse below this main one contains three log tubs and one six foot yeah. round tub for a community setting. Okay. I wasn't able to gain access to that lower bathhouse. Each of these tubs holds up to 200 gallons each and were hewn by hand from single logs. The springs that feed this main bathhouse flow at 24 gallons per minute and at 138 degrees Fahrenheit. While it was a little disheartening to see the human impact, we only ran into two other humans the entire time.
particularly while hiking in bear country, I find it soothing to whistle the A-Team theme song and channel my inner Murdoch. We did see this little bear after all. We took a drive through the empty campground and enjoyed a little longer lingering in the isolation. Thank you so much for coming along on this adventure, and we hope you come along for many more. If you feel like subscribing, we'd sure appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up if you liked it. And until next time.